Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about binary subtractor or our parallel binary subtractor in computer architecture course, computer organization course and computer organization and architecture course. First of all, what is binary subtractor? A binary subtractor is a digital circuit used for performing the subtraction operation between two 4-bit binary numbers. Suppose I am taking two 4-bit binary numbers A and B. So A contains the four bits. So A0, A1, A2, A3, so that is 1, 1, 0, 0. Next, B contains the 4 bits B0, B1, B2, B3. So that is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0. How to perform the subtraction operation? To perform the subtraction operation, we already know that A minus B, we have to perform the subtraction operation can be represented in the form of A minus B. A minus B is nothing but the subtraction operation can be converted into addition operation A plus 2's complement of B. We already know that 2's complement of B is nothing but 1's complement of B plus 1. Okay. So that is nothing but A plus 1's complement of B plus 1. 1's complement of B plus 1. Okay. Now, so A plus, how to get the 1's complement of B? 1's complement of B is nothing but we are inverting the each and every bit. That means 0 is inverted to 1 and 1 is inverted to 0. Okay, now 1's complement of B we have to now find out. So 0 is complemented to 1. 1 is complemented to 0, 0 is complemented to 1, 0 is complemented to 1. Okay, now we have to add 1. Okay, so 1, 0, 1, 1, plus 1 can be added at the LSP bit. So 1's complement of B is 1, 0, 1, 1, plus 1 can be added at the LSP bit. So 1 plus 1, that is a 0 with the carry 1. 1 plus 1, 0 with the carry 1. 1 plus 0, 1, that is 1. So we are getting, so A plus 1, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0, 0 is nothing but 2's complement of B. 2's complement of B is 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, we have to perform the addition operation between the corresponding bits of A and B. So, that is 1, 1, 0, 0 plus 2's complement of B is 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. Now, I am taking here 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, we have to perform addition operation. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 1 with carry 1. Okay. So, this is the carry 1. This carry is discarded because in the 2's complement addition, any carry is generated, we have to ignore the carry weight. So, what is the result we are getting? That is 
वन जीरो 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 दिस इज द रिजल्ट वी आर गेटिंग ओके सो हियर After performing the subtraction operation between two four-bit binary numbers, so A is one one zero zero, B is zero one zero zero, we are getting the result one zero zero zero. What is the binary equivalent of A? So that is twelve. What is the binary equivalent of B? That is four. We already know that twelve minus four that is equal to Eight. So, what is the binary equivalent of the result? That is eight. So, we are getting the correct result. So, here B can be called as subtrahend. B can be called as subtrahend. Okay. So, by observing this example, okay, we have to find out the two's complement of subtrahend. Okay, two's complement of subtrahend can be found by can be find by using one's complement of subtrahend plus one. One's complement of subtrahend can be obtained by using NOT gate. So that we have to use NOT gate at subtrahend bits. That is, B NOT is complemented. B1 is complemented, B2 is complemented, B3 is complemented because here one's complement of B, one's complement of B can be obtained by using not K. So therefore, to find out the one's complement of B, we have to use not K at every subtrahend bit. So therefore. B not is complemented by using not gate. B one is complemented by using not gate. B two is complemented by using not gate. B three is complemented by using not gate. Next, where to add plus one? So to add plus one, initially we are taking the input carry bit as one. Okay, so this is one's complement of subtrahend bit plus one. So that is nothing but two's complement of B. Okay, this example can be explained in the four-bit binary subtractor. This is diagram shows the four-bit binary subtractor. To implement this four-bit binary subtractor, we have to use full four full adders: full adder one, full adder two, full adder three. Full adder four. Next one. So A bits are A not, A one, A two, A three. B bits are B not, B one, B two, and B three. The sum bits are S not, S one, S two, S three. Initial carry bit is a C not, and the final carry bit is C four. Next one. Each and every full adder can take three inputs and produce two outputs. So A not, B not, and C not are the three inputs and can produce two outputs. One is a sum output and another one is carry output. The carry output that is generated at the first full adder that can be given as input for the Second full adder. The carry bit that is generated at the second full adder that can be given as input for the third full adder. The carry that is generated at the third full adder that can be given to the fourth full adder as input. The carry that is generated at the fourth fourth full adder. If this is the final carry output. Okay. In the case of a binary subtractor, if any final carry bit is generated, that carry can be discarded because in the two's complement, uh, in the two's complement subtraction, if any end around carry is generated, that carry can be discarded. Next one, 
the initial input carry can be taken as 1. Why we are taken initial input carry uh, C0 value is equal to 1? I will be discussed in later. Okay. Now, first we have to substitute the A0, A1, A2, A3 bits. So that are A3 bit value is 1. Next, A2 bit value is 1, A1 bit value is 0, A0 bit value is 0. Next one, B3 bit value is 0, B2 bit value is 1, B1 bit value is 0, B0 bit value is 0. Okay. First, we have to find out the complement of B0, B1, B2, B3 by using NOT gate. So B0 bit value 0, 0 is complemented to 1 and A0 bit value is 0. B1 bit value is 0 that is complemented using NOT gate. So this is a 1 and A0, A1 bit value is 0. B2 bit value is a 1. 1 is complemented to 0 and A2 bit value is 1. Next one, B3 bit value is 0. 0 is complemented to 1 and A3 bit value is 1. Okay. First, we have to find out the 1's complement of the subtrahend. 1's complement of the subtrahend can be obtained by using NOT gate. So, therefore, subtrahend bits are complemented using NOT gate. We are getting 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Next one. one after finding out the 1's complement, then we are adding 1. Okay. So, this 1 can be taken as initial carry bit C0 value is equal to 1. Okay, so here we have to find out the ones complement, ones complement, ones complement, ones complement, plus one can be given as the initial input carry. So ones complement plus one is nothing but two's complement of the subtrahend bits. Okay, so after finding out the two's complement, then it can be added to the A. Then we are getting the result. If any end around the carry is generated after MSB, that carry bit can be discarded. Because in the two's complement, if any end around the carry is generated, that carry bit can be discarded. Now, how to get the result? Now, 1 plus 0, so that is 1. 1 plus 1, so that is a, some bit value 0, carry bit value can be given as input for the next full adder. Okay. Now, 0, 1 plus 0, that is 1. 1 plus 1, that is 0 with carry 1. This carry bit can be forwarded to the next full adder. Next, 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 1, that is 0 with carry 1. Carry 1 can be forwarded to the Next full adder as input. Next one, 1 plus 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is nothing but 1 with carry 1. This carry 1 can be given as C4. C4 is the final output carry. So this is the end around the carry bit. So this carry bit can be simply discarded. So final result, so result is equal to S3, S2, S1, S0. After ignoring the end around the carry, so S3 value is 1, S2 value is 0, S1 value is 0, S0 value is 0. 1, 0, 0, 0. The binary, the decimal equivalent of binary number 1000 is equal to 8. So, 
12 minus 4, 1100 a decimal equivalent value is 12, 0, 1, 0, 0 decimal equivalent value is 4, 12 minus 4 that is equal to 8. So we are getting the 8 decimal equivalent value 8 by using the 4 bit binary subtractor. Okay. So in this way we have to perform the uh, binary subtraction operation between two 4 bit binary numbers. Okay. Next one, why it can be called as parallel binary subtractor. Here we are applying a0, b0, a1, b1, a2, b2, a3, b3 bits parallelly at the same time. Then whatever the result we are getting after performing the subtraction operation that can be getting immediately. So because of that reason we can say that 4 bit binary subtractor can also be called as parallel binary subtractor. Once we are applying the a0, b0, a1, b1, a2, b2, a3, b3 bits parallelly, once we are getting the input carry bit from the previous full adder, then the subtraction operation can be performed immediately. So that we can say that binary subtractor can also be called as parallel binary subtractor. Okay, so this is the circuit diagram for 4 bit binary subtractor. How subtraction operation can be done with this example. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divela Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel.